Hey guys, welcome to part two of how to save your score so you can add it to a menu for your game. Alright, so we left off where when you die, you, uh, it says you died, game over. Okay, cool, so let's get going. So save your scene, I'm calling mine prototype. And then we're going to make a new scene, file, new scene. Okay, and we're going to save scene as uh, main menu. And then we're going to go to main camera, clear flag, skybox, solid color, and I'm going to make it gray. All right, and then go to game object, UI text. Make the font size 25 so I can see it better and change the color to something that's not black. Let's do red and name it something. Uh, I'm just going to do zero, zero, zero. Okay, cool. And if it doesn't show up, you need to put a font inside of it. I've got Arial. And let's save the scene and save the project. Go to build settings, file build settings, and add the main menu scene and your uh, the game scene. I call mine prototype, so make sure both of the scenes are in the build settings. And to add it, you just drag your scene over like this. Okay, so let's play the game. Actually, first we have to go to our dev script and add when you uh, die application dot load level uh, main menu. This is like my fifth attempt to make this video, so I have the code already typed, so I'm just going to show it. But uh, you can go ahead and copy all this if you want to, but I advise you just do this part first application dot load level main menu so when we die it's going to take us to the main menu and just save that save scene save project and open up the other scene collect a point if you want to and when we die okay it took us to the main menu Cool. Now we need a way to get to our game from the main menu. So it's file, save scene, save project, and then open up your main menu scene. And we're going to create an empty game object. And we're going to call it a uh, game object. And we're going to create a script, call it a load level or something, load game. And we're going to make a public function, public void play my game. And we're going to type application dot load level the name of the level main menu nope I lied the name of the gameplay level which is prototype for me not sure what you named it okay let's save that And we're going to drag the script to the game logic, game object. So game logic. So we added it to game logic. And then we're going to go to our canvas, right click canvas, and add a UI button. 
Name the button play game. Change the text to play game. And let's raise the button up just a little bit so it's not on the score. All right, and you'll see here on click, it's empty. Press the addition icon or the cross. And then this pops up. You want to drag the game logic, game logic, game object to this. And then you can go to your functions and you can t uh, click on uh, play my game, load level, play my game, the function that you made in your script right here. Load level, play my game. So when you click on the button, it will load the scene. So let's save it, save project, click play game, and it loads up your game. And then you can collect a point if you want to, and it takes you back to the main menu. Cool. All right, but now you notice that when you die, uh, it, it kind of instantly takes you in the game over thing right here. Doesn't really exist very long. It's just really quick. See that? To make that uh, slower, all you have to do is go to your dev script. And I did not add this. I'm going to make it quarantine, i.e. numerator, uh, go back to menu, and then type in yield return new wait for seconds uh, I will do 1.6 F because it's a float and then you want to uh, add your application dot low level main menu to this and take that out and do start quarantine the name of the quarantine which is go back to menu triggers uh, go back to menu and this is the timer wait this many seconds before loading the level okay that's all you need to do and that to fix that let's test it play the game kill yourself you died game over Quarantine couldn't be started because the game object player is inactive. What? If this dot game object equals 
no. Okay, uh... Okay, so apparently we can't do that. I guess what we can do is instead of instantly turning off our player maybe we can put it right here Run it, play the game. You die, game over. Uh, and why is it not doing it? I don't, I don't understand why it's not doing it. Oh, because we took out the quarantine. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. Start quarantine. Uh, go back to menu. Hang with me, guys. Hang with me. Play the game. Die. You died. Game over. Okay, cool. Now can we... That's fine for now. I gotta finish this video. Okay, uh, we're over 10 minutes. I'm gonna make a separate video for the next part. Thanks for watching, guys. And we're almost done. So uh, check out part three.